Virtual reality is a fascinating way to travel, using nothing more than the power of technology. With the headset and motion tracking, VR lets you look around a virtual space as if you're actually there, or play a game as though you're really in it. It's been gaining traction in recent years thanks to compelling games and experiences, though it still seems very much in a state of flux, with headsets coming and going fairly rapidly. We're tracking the best of what's currently on the market here. Oculus Quest 2 Lightweight, comfortable, and powerful enough to run impressively detailed virtual reality experiences, the Oculus Quest 2 is the best VR headset that Oculus has made so far. And depending on your perspective on raw power versus portability and comfort, it might just be the best VR headset ever too. The Oculus Quest 2 is one of the best VR systems available for both beginners and seasoned VR veterans alike. In fact, we'd go so far as to say it's a must-have device if you're looking for one of the best VR headsets currently on the market that doesn't require the additional wires, huge expense, or added fuss of a PC-based VR setup like the HTC Vive VR headset. This standalone VR device from Oculus brings you easy access to everything that makes virtual reality special and well worth your time, delivering high quality virtual reality experiences at a fair price to your front room with minimal setup. HP Reverb G2. The HP Reverb G2 is easily one of the best VR headsets out there thanks to its incredibly high-resolution lenses, which all but eliminate the screen door effect and really help with immersion. The HP Reverb G2 is quite possibly the most exciting virtual reality headset on the market right now. That may come to a surprise to people expecting the likes of HTC, Oculus, or Valve to be the ones to push VR forward, but the HP Reverb G2 achieves that by bringing one important revolutionary change, high resolution lenses. Accuracy of the Valve Index or HTC Vive Pro, but it's cheaper and easier to set up than both. The design of the HP Reverb G2 is pretty standard for a virtual reality headset. Headphones are built in and the headset can be adjusted while you wear it via Velcro straps. The face mask that rests against your face when you're wearing the headset is light and comfortable and does a good job of blocking out light from the outside world. The high resolution of the HP Reverb G2 really is revolutionary in virtual reality and needs to be seen to be believed. Without needing base stations and with most of its software already in Windows 10, the HP Reverb G2 is easy to set up. The high-resolution screen and Steam VR support make this a brilliant headset for VR gamers. PlayStation VR It's not surprising, given how tempting a purchase it is if you already have a PS4. Why shell out for a high-performing, room-tracking, PC-tethered headset from Oculus or HTC when you can just plug something into the console under your telly? But even removing sales from the equation, the PlayStation VR has become a game-changing piece of hardware in more ways than one. It's surprisingly accurate given the fact that it's only using a single camera to track what's happening, but it's not foolproof by any stretch of the imagination. If you want to be specific about it, PlayStation VR can handle 1080p games on its 920 x RGB x 1080 OLED display at either 90 Hz, meaning that the image refreshes itself 90 times per second, or at 120 Hz, depending on the VR game or application. As a result, the best PlayStation VR games list is being constantly updated with excellent fresh experiences, with plenty more arriving all the time. From shooters to puzzlers, platformers to narrative adventures, there's variety and depth to PSVR's growing gaming catalog. HTC Vive Cosmos The HTC Vive Cosmos VR headset is a technically impressive improvement on the original Vive, but it's very expensive and you still have to deal with a cable. The Vive Cosmos is HTC's latest VR headset, presenting a significant upgrade from both the original Vive and the pricier Vive Pro. It completely does away with any need for external sensors, and its redesigned motion controllers are a big step forward. 
The Vive Cosmos looks a bit more colorful and playful than the Vive, with the dark blue outer body covered in a triangle pattern and two forward-facing cameras reminiscent of eyes, joined by four more cameras mounted on the top and bottom edges of the front and on the left and right sides of the visor. A pupillary distance knob sits below the right-facing camera and power LED and button sit below the left-facing camera. A thick plastic ring extends upward around the controller's buttons and analog stick, also like the Oculus Touch. The rings feature translucent bands around the edges and geometric patterns along the middle that light up when the controllers are turned on. They look striking and vaguely Mesoamerican and help the headset's camera track the controller's positions. Pimax Vision 8K Light, reasonably comfortable, and sporting a wide FOV, the Pimax Vision 8K Plus is a good enthusiast headset, but not for the average consumer. As with all modern Pimax HMDs, the Vision 8K Plus is ultra-wide with an extensive FOV. The headset's two 4K displays face outward, giving you more peripheral vision than the average VR headset. Pimax advertises a 200-degree diagonal FOV, which puts it near the top of all headsets, including enterprise-class devices. For comparison, the Valve's Index FOV goes up to 130 degrees. Our first impressions of the Vision 8K Plus were positive. The new headset features the same sharp angled shell as the older model. The only difference other than color is that the Pi logo is no longer embossed on the front left corner. Immediately, we noticed a significant improvement in the quality of the HDMD exterior compared to the original Pimax headsets, the Pimax 8K and Pimax 5K Plus. The 5K Plus's fragile shell left a lot to be desired, but the Vision 8K Plus features a soft touch plastic material that feels much sturdier than the old headsets. The old model flexed and creaked when we handled it. This one does not. The Pimax Comfort Kit is an upgraded foam facial interface meant to improve the headset's fitment. Merge If you're searching for a budget VR headset that is comfortable enough for frequent use, then look no further than the Merge VR. This headset is designed particularly with kids in mind, with its soft foam material making it particularly unbreakable. There are a handful of accessories available for this product to even further increase the gaming fun. It is not the best headset around, but it is a good choice for a budget headset that works with Android and iPhone and is a little more durable and comfortable than the Google Cardboard. This headset is relatively unremarkable compared to the rest of the headsets in the group, only excelling as being one of the easiest headsets to set up overall and is one of our favorite smartphone options. The Merge's performance improved slightly in this metric, earning a 5 out of 10. This score is based on the sharpness and overall quality of the image shown, the field of view, and if the headset suitably blocked out ambient light. Comprising 15% of the total score, our user-friendliness metric assessed each headset on how much work it took to get your smartphone set up in it, whether or not you are prone to inadvertently pressing buttons or if you have to remove the case from your phone to install it in the headset, and the amount of difficulty in attaching headphones. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check the description box for the product link. For more such tech-related videos, subscribe to our channel and let us know what product reviews you'd like to see next in the comments section.